Good morning and welcome to Christians Aren't Sheep, a beginner's guide to meditation. My name is Ron, I'm the host of this show, and this is a channel you don't have to subscribe to. You don't have to hit the like button. You don't have to ring that bell for notifications, because I do this every day. And I certainly won't ask you for any money. Oh, well, today's Saturday, January 27. And it's a weigh-in day for my gut loss program. And we seem to be continuing with some progress. At the start of week 12, I'm at 216.5 pounds. <laughs> yeah, I'm very, very happy with that. It's definitely going in the right direction. We'll just keep doing what we're doing with the intermittent fasting and the exercising on the exercise equipment. It's all good. So, let's uh, get right after our devotional this morning. Coming to us from Romans chapter 12. <sighs> Rejoice in our confident hope. Be patient in trouble and keep on praying. When God's people are in need, be ready to help them. Always be eager to practice hospitality. Hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Don't curse them. Pray that God will bless them. Be happy with those who are happy and weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with each other. Don't be too proud to enjoy the company of ordinary people. And don't think you know it all. Never pay back evil with more evil. Do things in such a way that everyone can see you are honorable. Do all that you can to love, to live in peace with everyone. Dear friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I will take revenge, I will pay them back, says the Lord. Instead, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals of shame on their heads. Don't let evil conquer you, but conquer evil by doing good. <laughs> That's, that is a hard devotional for me. I'm not sure if I've ever been the live and let live kind of guy or forgive and forget. Especially when it comes to Canadian politics. I literally despise our liberal government. Trudeau and Freeland, they are viciously, viciously ugly people. And they are wrecking Canada. But this, this devotional <laughs> tells me I shouldn't feel that way. <laughs> Uh, let's let's get a little context from our daily bread. Not holding grudges. During a promotional event in 2011, two 73-year-old former Canadian Football League players got into a fist fight on stage. 
they had a beef, a grudge or feud dating back to a controversial championship football game in 1963. After one man knocked the other off the stage, the crowd called out to him to let it go. They were telling him to squash the beef. The Bible contains many examples of people beefing. Cain held a grudge against his brother Abel because God accepted Abel's offering over his. This grudge was so severe that it eventually led to, a, to murder as Cain attacked his brother and killed him. Esau held a grudge against Jacob because Jacob stole the birthright that was rightfully his. This grudge was so intense that it caused Jacob to run for his life in fear. Not only does the Bible give us several examples of people who held grudges, but it also instructs us on how to squash the beef, how to seek forgiveness and reconciliation. God calls us to love others, pray for and forgive those who insult and injure us, live peaceably with all people, leave revenge to God, and overcome evil with good. By his power, may we squash the beef today. And there's a prayer there too that I just don't have it in me to do right now. But I will pray. Heavenly Father, Put in me a love, build in me a love that will allow me to not hate our government. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay. There's some to meditate on. If it's easy for you to hold a grudge, meditate on that today and ask God to put a little more love into your heart. And a little recap, 216 and a half pounds. This is the beginning of week 12. That's only two and a half months. I've dropped 23 pounds. That's amazing. All right. Have a great day, God willing. We'll see you tomorrow.